All right, why don't we jump right into the headline topic. Windows 11. Luke, are you ready? When are you, yeah. okay, uh, you know what? Uh, uh, do we wanna go through the main- As soon as possible. Okay, what, really? I'm in, I'm what, in. Really? Yeah. I am not quite, I'm, I, I think there's a joke that I'm not getting here. I did, I did, I don't know, I'm feeling good about it. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's talk about everything okay. that was announced. I'm gonna do it as soon as possible on like not my main device so I can make sure it's, you know, stable because I have to work. Okay, sure. Um, okay. But but I'm, I'm highly interested, I'll say that much. Okay. Yeah. So Microsoft Windows 11 event took place yesterday, making the new operating system official after a leaked build hit the internet a week ago. Some people were a little salty about the event, uh, notably Anthony. I had to desalinate the script uh, as I was going through it with him. I was like, you seem mad, bro. And he's like, well, I am mad. I had to get up at six in the morning and they spent the vast majority of my precious time alive on this earth talking about stuff that doesn't matter and very little of the time talking about features that engineers actually worked on. And so, so I, I get it. I understand. I mean, yeah, not everyone in the world had to wake up and watch the event live. People could have, you know, I think the general public could have probably watched a VOD. Uh, I don't think that's necessarily the most fair criticism ever. Or a really um, great compact summary on Linus Tech Tips' YouTube channel or, or something that, like that. I think but, Tech Quickie, right, this time? Or Tech uh, or Actually, we hit it on, we hit it on Tech Linked, we hit it on Tech Quickie, we hit it on Linus Tech Tips. It's Just kind of big everything? news. Nice, yeah. Scattered it's sort of guys. a big Why deal. Not? Yeah, it makes honestly I get it. It makes sense. And there's different ways of writing it. And yeah, I'm in. I'm down. And let's um, talk about some of the stuff that was a big deal. Like yeah. run, run us through everything they talked about during the event here. This I think is actually this is bigger for me than I almost would like to admit. But really? rounded frosted glass aesthetic. I have <laughs> hated so much how windows 8 8.1 and 10 have all looked i i just i don't normally care that much about aesthetic stuff but like you heard it here oh, folks man you heard it here first <laughs> folks luke doesn't like them flat he likes them round <laughs> you know, it's just a thing okay come on um <laughs> it, it 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 does i wouldn't say it looks like windows 7 um, but it, it, it resembles some of the older rounder designs a little bit more. Um, I liked the have... look of Vista. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. I can hear the booze. I can hear the yeah. booze from here, but I liked it. I, um, I liked some parts of it. I think if you, when you look back at Vista now, it's kind of like, Ooh, yeah, but, yeah, um, that's fair. but at the time I liked Vista, I really liked windows seven. Um, this might get some flares, but especially at the time, yep. not not really anymore, but especially at the time, I really liked Windows XP. Um, I So far, I like the general design aesthetic that they're going for, which is very cool. Uh, they have a new touch optimized interface. That makes sense. It offers larger touch targets and visual indicators. Okay, smart. And uh, I, you know, hold on. I mean, let's, let's, let's go through these a little more slowly because I want to talk sure. about that. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people kind of actually hating on that. And I don't really get it anymore because sure that I mean when did when did Windows 8 come out? Uh, was that about 10 years ago? I think. Oh, I was just Windows signed out 8's the, release date um, 2012, August 1st, 2012. So that was nine years ago. Windows 8 came out. At that time, I understand why people were upset about a touch-first approach to a desktop yeah, operating system. Yeah. It made and no I sense. I was too. Yeah. Nowadays. Outside of the desktop, you walk down the you know, laptop aisle at your local Best Buy, I'd say a solid, at least 30 to 50% of the Windows devices do have touchscreens on them. And as someone who has gotten very accustomed to touch on my laptop in particular, I have no problem with Microsoft giving a little bit more thought to how I can use Windows better with a touchscreen. And compared to what they did with Windows 8, so far I haven't seen anything to indicate that Windows 11 is really giving the middle finger to desktop yes. users yes. in order to make touch better. That's a very important point because when, when we first got Windows 8 with the Metro UI stuff yep. and it, it looks like you're playing that game where you have to like shift the blocks on the board to make the picture connect, it, we're not dealing with that. It's yeah. just it's just a little bit more 
optimized, makes it a little bit easier, which totally makes sense. But you can see in their videos and stuff, they didn't hack up the, the they didn't hack everything up and make it look like Windows 8 again. Um, that Metro stuff can get out of here. Um, anyways, this one, uh, I didn't actually catch if you could realign it, mm -hmm. but the it I did hear they said default, so I'm kind of hoping that means you can realign it because I'm not really sold on it so far. But the start menu is center, or the task bar is now center aligned. You can. You can you realign can, yeah, okay. it. Uh, there's yeah. a registry value that you can change to move it over to the left. At least that is true in the early build that we saw. Now, one okay. thing that does appear to be true based on what I've seen so far, but I haven't actually tried to force it, is that it doesn't appear as though you can move the taskbar and the start menu to the side or top of your display. And some people are super mad about that. And you know what? I get it. As much as I personally vomit inside my own mouth a little bit every time I see a taskbar on the left or yep. the right, yep, um, me too. because and maybe part of it is just that I come from the the five by four and at the very worst sixteen by ten days. You know, like for me, it's just it's a sin to put the taskbar on the left or the right because it used to be you actually had most of your space you didn't care about at the bottom of the screen. It was a sensible yeah. place to put it. CRTs were four by three, early LCDs were five by four, and then 16 by 10 was the, the like the early widescreen resolution. So it always like made sense to have it there. And then 16 by nine, it's been the it's been the screen aspect ratio that has bothered me rather than me adapting myself and my habits to put my taskbar somewhere else where the extra space is. I would also argue uh, that a lot of modern apps um, and a lot of websites have kind of normalized this menu on the left side idea. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and and vertical scrolling, now that everything's designed yeah. for mobile, is totally more important. So I get it. I, I So as much as it makes me vomit a little bit, I understand why people want to do it, and I will defend their, their right to use their computer the way they want to do it with my last breath. I mean, this is something that we talked about when I was complaining about not having T9 dialing on iOS. The point was not that yes. there, there is no other way to dial a number. So many people brought up that you can swipe down and use Spotlight and type someone's name and then call them that way. You can. Good for you. That's not the point. The point is that it would cost basically nothing for Apple to implement it. And there's also nothing wrong with T9 dialing. And why am I, like, why am I allowing Apple to decide how I should use my device. They should just give users choice. I should, using a device should be in a way that's comfortable for me, the user. Remember the customer's always right. Remember that was a thing a long time ago, once upon a time. So well, I don't really agree with that. But. Okay, sometimes the customer is a complete idiot and that's fair. Yeah. Uh, yeah sorry, Karen, you're just gonna have to leave the store. But, yeah. but in this case, I absolutely side pun intended, with the people who don't think the taskbar and the start menu should be stuck at the bottom. They should be allowed to move it because who freaking cares? And maybe for Microsoft, they were sitting here going, well, it's a lot of work for us to have this swipe in from the left widget thing and also allow people to have a start menu there. It was going to like mess stuff up and our aesthetic would be bad. You know what? It's not up to you. Just let people use their computers the way they want to use them. There, that's it, my whole yeah, thing. Make, make it able to be designated. I want this side to be the swipe in news thing. I want this side to be the start menu. Exactly. How hard is that? I mean, probably hard. You know, I, I'm, I admit, I'm, I'm admittedly <laughs> not a software developer, but I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. That's all.